Hey guys, Seth Lee here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day. In this video, I wanted to cover all of the new details about Season 6 that we got earlier today when the Season 6 launch trailer was released. If you didn't see my last video, make sure to go check it out to see my reaction to the new trailer. They show off a lot of cool stuff in the trailer, so you don't want to miss out on that. But before we get into the Season 6 details that were released earlier today, I just wanted to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that sub button and join the squad it is 100% the best way to support me all right now let's get into the juicy stuff if you didn't already know season six comes out on the 18th so not only did they release the launch trailer earlier today but they also posted a brief description of the new season six editions on the official ea website now this isn't the official patch notes it is not everything but it is a good amount of stuff i'm honestly just hyped to actually know for a fact what's coming in season six instead of having to speculate based on leaks and all of that but first off they show us the full art for the new legend rampart i'll show it on screen right now for you guys i think it's my favorite legend art out of all of them mainly because she's blowing a bubble with gum and holding a massive gun i can definitely tell she is going to have a good backstory just based on how she looks and if you wanted to see the actual character model for rampart they showed it off in the trailer so i'll show that on screen right now for you guys Other than the art for Rampart, the only other details they gave us on the website is a brief description of her. It says the new legend Rampart, an expert modder who made her name in underground fight clubs. Rampart talks big and has the ballistics to back it up. Clearly she is an absolute beast with weaponry and modding guns, so I'm really excited to see how she plays in game. I'm hoping that they release her with a little bit of overpowered abilities just to keep the hype up for a new legend, and then if needed later on they can nerf her. I think that would definitely be much better than how it's happened in the past, like with Revenant getting multiple much needed buffs. But as for her abilities, we don't know for sure, but they showed off some stuff in the trailer that I think we all know are her abilities. The first one is a big shield that you can mount to the ground and shoot through. It looks like friendly bullets are able to go through and enemy bullets are blocked. But her next ability is likely the big mounted machine gun she used in the trailer, also known as Sheila. Then that leaves one more ability and this one is a bit harder to discern because the only other ability like thing in the trailer is what looks to be some sort of time travel reversing time. Now I was thinking it would be difficult for the servers to handle reverting back everything for a few seconds just for one legend's abilities but then I thought maybe the time reverse works as an AOE type ability so it would only work in a certain radius. Now let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below but now on to the season 6 battle pass. They said the new boosted battle pass contains over 100 exclusive items including legendary skins, apex packs, new hollow sprays, and more. The exciting part about this is the new hollow sprays they mentioned. I think these have been leaked in game before but I don't really remember what they look like. Now I'm assuming it's a type of cosmetic that you can equip similar to pings and then you can use the spray to graffiti a logo or something like that on walls in game. I'm really hoping the sprays last forever and don't have a limited number of uses like in CSGO but that's pretty much all we know about the battle pass right now. Next we have a new system that sounds very intriguing. So this new system is called crafting. They described it by saying, don't like your gear? Collect materials around the map and build something better. Now they didn't give us much information about how exactly this will work, but I'm guessing it will be almost like a weekly challenge where you collect items in game throughout the week, similar to treasure packs. And then I'm guessing once you have the number of items needed, you will be able to craft a new skin with them, which I think is a really cool idea since it's a good new way to reward players for putting time into the game other than giving us legend tokens, packs, and XP. And if you ask me, this system is one thing that will massively help Apex with player retention. So I'm definitely excited to see this new crafting system in action. Let's get on to the next season six topic that was covered on the EA website, ranked. I'll show a picture on screen right now, and this is the weapon charm that they use to label the ranked section on the website. So I'm assuming that this charm is what players will get at the start of season six as a reward for hitting Apex Predator in season five. But that's really all we got about season six ranked. So I doubt there will be many big changes to how ranked works. 
Artie, this next topic is super important, and that is, of course, the new weapon we are getting next season. So as you guys know, we didn't get a new weapon in season five because Respawn thought the weapon loot pool was at a good balanced position and wanted to make sure that when they added a new weapon, it would have a place in the meta rather than being an insignificant addition that clutters spawns. Now, I'm sure you Titanfall 2 fans will be excited when I say this, but the new weapon in season six is going to be the Volt SMG. The description of the weapon says charge into battle with this energy SMG that packs a punch. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hyped to have a new SMG in the rotation, even if it is an energy weapon. Now, you may be wondering what I mean by that. Well, ever since the start of the game, every new weapon we have ever gotten has been an energy weapon, or at least started out as an energy weapon, with the exception of the Sentinel, and of course, the L-Star being a legendary weapon, well technically it still was an energy weapon so I guess that makes sense. But either way, it doesn't matter to me since it will give me a good use for all of the extra energy ammo I always find anyway. But lastly, I wanted to talk about the map changes in Season 6. So as you guys know, there are two areas on World's Edge that have signs teasing future changes coming in Season 6. Drill Site and the area next to Dome. Well, they showed off the map update for the dome area in the launch trailer. As you guys can see on screen, that area is going to become the launch site for a huge rocket ship. Now, my guess is that ship is what's going to take us to Olympus, a new map that I now think will come out in Season 7, which makes me think that Season 6 and the lore that comes with it will revolve around the ship. But of course, there is always a chance we could get a new map in Season 6, but in my opinion, it's looking more like Season 7 is when we should expect to move to Olympus for the Apex games. But as for Drill Site and the changes that are being made to it, well, they didn't show it off in the launch trailer, but based on the teasers from yesterday, I think Drill Site is going to become a new type of weapon shop thing run by Rampart, but that's just a guess. Let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on everything that's been announced for Season 6. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you're new to the channel, then make sure to hit that sub button and turn on the notification bell. But it's been your boy Sapley, and I'm out. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure to comment down below whether or not you think you will be maining Rampart next season purely just based off what we know as of right now. I personally definitely think I will be playing her a lot in season six, but I don't know if I can give up on my mains, lifeline, and pathfinder. Rampart would have to be pretty dang good for me to make her my new main, but it's been your boy Sethley again, and I'm out.